This is the Statue of Liberty, an impressively huge statue that is visited by millions of people each year. But compared to the statue at the end of this list, this imposing structure looks so much smaller in contrast. From the largest depiction of the Buddha to an insane project that's been under construction for more than 75 years now, here are the tallest statues in the world. But first, we have to say a major thank you for 1 million subscribers. I honestly can't even believe that I'm actually saying that right now. Yes, 1 million subscribers. When Lewis, Freddie, and I started this project back in 2020, we never thought that it would become this big. So as a big thank you for all of your support over the years, we tried something really special for this video. We created a 3D world in Unreal Engine to compare the tallest statues in the world. As you can imagine, this was a significant amount of work, so we really hope you enjoy it. Thank you all so much again for your support. And now, let's begin with our first statue in this video, the Statue of Liberty, with a height of 93 meters. It's arguably the most well-known statue in the entire world, so I guess it needs no further introduction. It portrays Libertas, the Roman goddess of liberty. In one hand, it holds a torch above her head, and in the other, a tablet, which depicts the date of the United States Declaration of Independence. The Statue of Liberty was created as a gift to the United States by the French people. It stands at an impressive 93 meters tall, which is pretty remarkable considering that it was actually built more than a hundred years ago, back when construction materials and technologies were nowhere near advanced to what we have today. What's even more impressive is the fact that the entire structure had to be completely disassembled after it was completed in France. It then had to cross the entire Atlantic over several weeks aboard a steamboat and was finally reassembled when it arrived in America. Today, the Statue of Liberty has become an important symbol of freedom to the United States and has become one of the most visited statues in the world. Although not as popular and widely visited as the Statue of Liberty, this next statue is actually even taller. At 99 meters, the Guishan Guanyin in China is as iconic as statues can get. It depicts the Buddhist figure known as the 11-headed, thousand-armed Guanyin. Though the structure doesn't actually have a thousand arms, it does indeed have 11 heads. And to be fair, it would be quite hard to build a thousand arms of this size. The Guishan Guanyin stands at a towering 99 meters and offers a panoramic view of the surrounding mountains in the city of Ningjiang. Additionally, the entire structure is plated with a thin layer of bronze that gives it its iconic metallic finish. It also took as much as $36 million to complete this single project, with the funds coming from a joint effort from the county government, local businesses, and various religious organizations. According to local Buddhist beliefs, the figure's multiple arms are said to represent Guanyin's unrivaled compassion to the people. The many heads and eyes, on the other hand, allow the figure to look at the misfortunes of everyone that comes to visit. Next up, the Sendai Daikanon at exactly 100 meters tall used to be the tallest statue in the world when it was constructed back in 1991. Although plenty of others have surpassed its height over the past decades, it's still an impressive structure of its own. The statue is located in Japan and portrays the figure of the goddess of compassion in Japanese Buddhism, locally known as Kanan. But what's most interesting about this statue in particular is not its towering height or its awe-inspiring figure, but rather what lies inside. The entrance to the Sendai Dai Kanan is shaped like a dragon's mouth, an important symbol in Buddhism. Meanwhile, on the stairwell that goes all the way to the top, there are an additional 108 Buddhist statues that each represent an earthly human desire. Next up is the Mother Ukraine statue, which is actually the tallest in Europe, with a total height of 102 meters, including the pedestal. Towering over the Ukrainian capital of Kyiv, the monument depicts a female warrior carrying a sword in one hand and a shield on the other. Today, the shield contains the Ukrainian coat of arms, but that wasn't always the case. Interestingly, both the symbolic meaning and the physical depiction of this statue haven't always been this way. To give some proper context, this monument was actually built all the way back in 1979, back when Ukraine was still part of the Soviet Union. The statue was originally called the Motherland Monument and was constructed to serve as a symbol of the Soviets' victory against the Germans during World War II. 
The female figure was supposed to represent the personification of the Soviet motherland. The shield even used to depict the Soviet state emblem instead of Ukraine's. However, this all changed actually quite recently, just in August of 2023, amidst the Russian invasion of Ukraine. As a means to further distance itself from its Soviet roots, Ukraine decided to remove the Soviet emblem from the statue and replace it with their own. On top of that, they changed its name. So today, the monument serves a renewed purpose amidst an ongoing conflict. The figure in this statue may be sitting down, but don't be fooled. The Statue of Belief in India is one of the tallest in the world, even without its pedestal. With a total height of 112 meters, it's the tallest depiction of the Hindu god Shiva. Construction on the project began back in 2013 as a means to bring in visitors to the city and serve as both a pilgrimage site and a place of worship. The statue was built using a unique method where layers upon layers of reinforcement were put into place to ensure its stability. The innermost part of the structure is actually made using reinforced concrete and it's surrounded by a rigid steel structure that kind of serves as the monument's framework. But it doesn't end there. The steel structure itself is also surrounded by another layer of molded concrete, which is then coated with copper and zinc on the exterior. One very interesting and quite endearing part of this project is that just a few steps away from the main statue itself lies a smaller installation of Nandi, Shiva's celestial bull, looking up at him from down below. Going even taller as we go through this list, this next statue actually held the record for the tallest in the world for 15 consecutive years. The Ushiku Daibutsu is a 120 meter tall bronze statue. So you might ask yourself, how do you actually build on such a scale? For this one, they used a method that made use of bronze plated blocks that were pre-assembled on the ground before being combined into one structure. This method is called the curtain wall method, similar to how high rise buildings are constructed. An iron steel column was first placed to serve as a frame for the rest of the structure. After this, the body of the statue was divided into 20 different vertical tiers where each component block was placed one by one. The use of bronze sheets for the statue also helped with the construction as it was relatively lighter compared to the usual steel frames on other tall structures. It portrays the Amitabha Buddha sitting on top of a giant lotus. The structure, along with the rest of the surrounding gardens and installations, were built in honor of the Japanese Buddhist monk known as Shinran, the founder of the most widely practiced branch of Buddhism in the entire country. Inside the statue lie several installations, such as the room which has more than 3,000 golden Buddha statues that actually serve as memorials for the deceased. As we go taller and taller, we have the Garuda Wisnu Kenkana in Indonesia with an astounding height of 122 meters. It's the first statue on this list that depicts more than one figure. In fact, the monument actually portrays an important scene from Hindu mythology. In the story, the deity Garuda agrees to be ridden by Vishnu in exchange for the elixir of life. This monument is the tallest in the country, as well as being the tallest statue in the world of Hindu relevance. The design for the statue was so intricate and precise that the entire structure was actually divided into more than 700 individual modules that were created in a specialized factory more than 800 kilometers away. But this was still not enough, as the 700 modules were further cut into at least 15 hundred smaller pieces because they were too heavy to be lifted on cranes during the construction. Because of its sheer size, local residents were even concerned that the statue would prove to be too disruptive. Some religious leaders even argued that it could potentially disrupt the spiritual balance of the island. The project eventually pushed through though, as the benefit of attracting tourists and economic activity to the area proved to be a far greater prospect than the previously mentioned concerns. At an impressive 129 meters tall, the Lake Yunsekia sits firmly as the third tallest statue in the world. However, despite its impressive height, not much is actually known about it, and it's probably the least visited statue on the list. Not only is it located in a very remote area, it's also just extremely difficult to enter its country right now, because it sits in Myanmar. The project took a total of 12 years to complete, as it was entirely funded only by donations from local residents. As a quick explanation, the Lake Yunsekia depicts Gautama Buddha in the process of rebirth. 
with the second 101 meter reclining Buddha on the ground representing the previous incarnation, while the main statue itself represents the one which has attained enlightenment. Next up, we take a big leap in height. Continuing with statues that depict the Buddha, the Spring Temple Buddha located in China is so massive that it's almost difficult to fully grasp its scale. At a towering 208 meters, even just the height of the statue's toes already surpasses that of the average person. Interestingly, the structure's exterior was actually made using a combination of copper, steel, and as many as 100 kilograms of real gold. This mixture makes it so that the structure shines brightly, even when observed from very far away. When it was finally completed back in 2008, the entire project was revealed to have cost as much as 140 million US dollars almost triple the initial estimates. Today, the Spring Temple Buddha holds the record for being the tallest Buddha monument, as well as being the second tallest statue of any kind in the entire world. Unlike all the previously mentioned statues on this list, the Shiv Smarak in Mumbai, India is one that hasn't actually been built, but despite this, the plans for it are already mind-bogglingly insane. The statue will stand at an impressive 212 meters, and will even have its own personal man-made island off Mumbai's coast, built entirely for it. The monument will depict the Indian warrior king, known as Shivaji I, riding a horse and wielding a sword to battle. But aside from the statue itself, the island will also be home to various amenities, such as a memorial, a museum, a gallery, and an amphitheater. There are even plans for the island to be connected to the rest of Mumbai through an extension of the city's metro system. The project was initially given a deadline to complete construction by 2021. However, because of the COVID-19 pandemic, they were unable to deliver on time. The project's creators asked for a one-year extension until October 2022, but that deadline has also already long passed. Today, more than a year after the extended deadline, there's basically been zero actual progress on the project. The only thing that's been accomplished so far were a couple of underwater and geological surveys around the site. The artificial island still doesn't exist to this day, so it remains to be seen if the Shiv Smarak is ever going to be completed. At an unprecedented 240 meters in height, the Statue of Unity in Kevadia, India is by far the tallest statue in the world. Unlike most of the previously mentioned structures on this list, this statue does not depict a religious figure or an abstract personification. Instead, it depicts an actual, real person from recent history. His name is Vallabhai Patel. But who exactly is this man? And what has he done to receive the honor of having the tallest statue in the world dedicated solely for him? Vallabhai Patel was a very important figure in India's contemporary history. He's known for being an instrumental figure in the country's struggle for independence from the British back in 1947. A speech which he delivered back in 1942 in front of hundreds of thousands of people is often referred to by historians as one of the major turning points towards the growing nationalist and independence movements in India. He then served as both India's very first Minister of Home Affairs and Deputy Prime Minister immediately after independence. Construction on the statue remembering Patel began in 2013, on the day of his birth. As a nod to the statue's name, there was a movement that collected farming equipment from willing donors to be repurposed for iron needed in the construction. Despite the insane size and scale of this undertaking, it actually took only five years for everything to be completed. On the 143rd anniversary of Patel's birth in 2018, the monument was finally inaugurated and opened to the public. Sadly, he never got to see his very own monument. But his story and impact remain to this very day. Wait a minute, if the last one was the tallest statue in the world, why is there another one on our list? Well, to be honest with you guys, this statue isn't quite built yet. It seems like India is still not satisfied with their current record and planning to build something even bigger. This is the proposed statue of Lord Rama, an insane plan for a statue that would stand at a total height of 252 meters. The planned monument will depict the Hindu deity known as Rama, with his iconic bow and arrow, along with an overhead umbrella. 
But despite all these ambitious plans, not much has actually materialized ever since this was first announced way back in 2017. The latest information that we know so far is that soil testing was done on the site back in 2018, and five firms had already been shortlisted to work on the project. Aside from this though, it remains to be seen if this project will actually turn into reality. Do you think the unfinished statues on this list will ever actually be completed? And have you seen any of the other statues in real life? Let us know in the comments down below. We want to thank you again for a million subscribers and hope to continue on this journey with you guys for many years to come. As always, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.